I was only a child, but I knew that what I had just been told was wrong. I didn't say anything though because, well, I was too young to have the words or the ability to explain why it was wrong. Mostly I didn't want to tell my dad that he was wrong. When I heard it again, I still didn't say anything because, well, either dad was wrong or he was lying to me. <clears throat> Neither of which I could believe. And yet, the words that upset my worldview, a worldview that had the absolute belief that my dad, the man I believed to be perfect and completely honest, were Rick. There's no such word as can't. <laughs> There's no such word as can't. Are you kidding? Try telling that to me now. And I'll explain why you are mistaken and give a few examples why. Can you levitate yourself up off the ground? Can you turn invisible? Can you hold your breath for an hour and still live? My list could go on. Even the Bible confirms that there is such a word as can't. We can't save ourselves. Right here in Matthew 19, 23, 6. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Truly I tell you, it is hard for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again I tell you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished and asked, Well, who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, With man, this is impossible. Can't. But with God, all things are possible. We have all sinned, and our righteousness is like filth. We can't save ourselves. The Bible says it is impossible. But there is hope. Because the Bible also says that with God, all things are possible. Mark 16, 16 says, whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Now when we share in the fellowship of this communion, we come together as people who believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. We have been baptized and filled with the Holy Spirit. This is one reason for the sacrament, a sacrament of gratefulness and thanksgiving. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we are truly grateful, so very thankful that you loved us enough to send your Son to die on our cross to pay the penalty for our sins and save our souls. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.